something about books. They're good. They help you learn. But sometimes it can be too heavy. Too many. Sometimes too complicated. So we created a fun and easy way to learn. We've gone even further to create something for everyone. Introducing the Quick Ride World. Now you can get access to loads of interesting textbooks to improve your grades. Easy to learn educational videos. Ask questions and exciting games. Safely protected by parental guidance feature. So visit www.clickrightworld.com.nz Log in from any phone, tablet, PC or Clickright device and enter a whole new world where we make learning fun. Na, 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 na. In its 2011 report, the United Nations described the United Human Settlements Program described the area known as Nyenya Labor Camp in the Federal Capital Territory Abuja as unfit for human habitation. It calls for its demolition and provision of a new house for residents, new houses for residents of the community. Is Nigeria joins the international community to mark this year's World Habitat Day with the theme housing at the center. It is Terry Tiaf in our big story tonight reports that only has a single house not been demolished in the community, the country may not eventually implement recommendations of the UN Habitat Report. Arriving the visibly congested settlement, one is unpleasantly welcomed by the many toilets leaking with feces and bedrooms not connected to any shockaway. Cracking walls on a number of the buildings with broken roofs, poorly ventilated rooms and deplorable roads. The labor camp in Yanyan is, uh, is okay as at the time the government has not sold it to private uh, occupiers. But ever since they sold it, the individual residing in the particular blocks, they are not competent enough to repair. The Federal Executive Council on June 25, 2014 approved a 14 naira contract for the Federal Capital Territory Administration to develop a new residential area in Gigandaya and relocate residents of the Nyanya labor camp to give way for its demolition. But two years after, this is what we have. Practically nothing on ground. You know, it's in stages. You are familiar with the construction work. And it's the opening of the corridors. There are obstructions along the corridor of the roads. Uh, the, 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 the houses that belong to the indigents. What we saw at the site of the project was a job executed, obviously, after we had contacted the contractor, Narada Limited with all efforts to get its officials for about two months to speak on the project unsuccessful. That authorities of the FCT administration would allow its Satellite Towns Development Department, FTDD, that is yet to get any legal backing from the National Assembly to handle such an important project is also questionable. Some things will, are not possible to do if there is no law backing. It will become illegal and illegal thing. That is to answer the fact where we say it is not because of incompetence. Actually, the amount paid to it is, is 1.4 billion. For now, in the budget, we don't have more than 1 billion. We have a more range. The intention of government was to, to, to get uh, the African Development Bank to go into partnership with uh, the FCT to provide the houses. But um, that has not worked very well so far. When the contract was awarded in 2014, three years after the UN Habitat report, the completion date of 36 months is June 2017. But today, those supposedly in charge of the project cannot make a guess of when a single housing unit will be ready for occupation. <laughs> 
if that place is very okay, most of the people here they are very ready to go. But if you take us to the place, if you if you take us to the place for us to go and suffer, we will come back to this place. The only option for this area is everybody that you know you own a house here. You have right to renovate your own house. Because when we said that let us now agree with what government have ever said, I think is that we will stay here for hundred years, they will not no, no, no do anything. With only 11% of the first stage of the project said to have so far been carried out, it is obvious that Nigeria is not only failing in its responsibility as a member state of the United Nations, the country is losing the opportunity of a pilot project that would have been a model for the provision of the much talked about low-cost, affordable houses for millions of its citizens. TV, TV. AIT News, Abuja.